Valdez, you were excited to play some Winston and some what are what a <laughs> Farah Farah or um Tracer in Overwatch Two. But well, to be completely honest, um. Yeah. Uh, when I played Overwatch actively, I was mostly playing Mercy anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was more of a tank and a support, too. It's when it's when Overwatch got really try-hard was when I was like, yeah, I'm kind of done with this. So Yeah, I think that's when most dipped out. But yeah. unfortunately for me and like many other people, um, we aren't able to get into Overwatch because apparently, one, the servers are being basically beaten to death by everyone trying to get in mm. but on top of that um the servers are also being ddos attacked <laughs> <laughs> yeah so absolutely no one's gotten in and uh, except for the random streamers who have gotten in yeah so yeah we're not gonna be able to talk about that much today even though i don't think we're gonna be able to talk about it much anyway today we would only get like a, like a few hours in at best so we, yeah. will, we will likely talk about our experiences with that next week. Yeah, though I do want to make one piece of commentary, and okay. it's regarding um, the one story that we had a few weeks ago mm -hmm. about the whole um, it'll take about 100 hours to grind out all the characters. Yes, go ahead. In a funny development, about one or two days before before today, the, uh, the Thai... Um, the Thai language official site for Overwatch 2 posted a graphic... And the graphic basically says, hey, um, if you're a brand new player to Overwatch, you'll get access to these 13 characters when you start Overwatch 2. And it's Orisa, Reinhardt, Winston, Zarya, Farah, uh, Reaper, Soldier 76, Torbjorn, Tracer, a Widowmaker, Lucio, Mercy, and Moira. So the originals. Yeah. So some of the originals, um, uh, there's, there's some uh, of the originals that are now locked off as part of the unlockables. So the rest of the cast would be considered unlockables. And then in the bottom of this uh, Thai, um, Thai um, Overwatch 2 website uh, graphic, it then says on the bottom, hey, if you own Overwatch 1, or if you bought the Watchtower pack, you will have all of these uh, characters that are in this graphic unlocked right away on day one. And for me... It, it just kind of floored me that, you know, just in the English language media, they made no mention of this, uh -huh. none at all. Yeah, and, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, and for me, it was just baffling because I'm sitting here going, okay, you've already got a whole bunch of websites and podcasters talking about this going, people are potentially going to have to spend almost 100 plus hours unlocking the entire cast. Wow, that's, that's not really a fun grind. And this graphic that was put on the Thai website says actually no if you've if you've uh, previously purchased Overwatch or you bought the Watchtower pack you're going to get everything and it just kind of floored me that no one from the English media side of the Blizzard PR team uh, thought it'd be a good idea to I don't know put this graphic out and say hey just to clarify about the character unlocks here's how it's going to work I don't know. It just kind of floored me. I was just like, this would have solved so much confusion about the unlocking situation. Right. Now, some people will defend this by saying, well, Blizzard did say this is part of the first time user experience. And if you're not a first time user, it wouldn't apply to you, which, yes, now it makes sense. But they didn't really get into detail about that. They just said specifically in order to unlock everybody as part of the first time user experience, it's going to be a hundred hours to grind everything to get all the characters. Just because they they did not make any mention that if you had uh, a save data or if you've owned the first Overwatch, that you would be able you'd get all the stuff. They did not mention it because, like you mentioned, when that came out, I was afraid. Like, oh wow, did I miss something? Because I. Because that was the first thing that I, I thought about when this was announced. That uh, this was this talked about today, or was this yesterday when this was? Uh, um, it was posted to the um, Thai language Overwatch site uh, one or two days ago. Okay, so I just yeah, I just uh, when this was revealed uh, when we put you posted it on our server today, I just was like, 
well, that makes a lot of sense now, but why didn't I catch this? And sure enough, I guess it was because no one said anything. And yes, you can say it's part of the first time user experience and it shouldn't have applied and you should have thought it applied, but technically everyone is a first time user on Overwatch 2. So it still made sense. People thought that this is going to mean everybody. So good on them for, I guess, basically saying, like, if you own the first Overwatch, you get all these free regardless. Great. But very poor communication on PR for uh, for Activision Blizzard and for Overwatch, too. Like, this is, I don't know. That's not good. Like, and that's a, that's a key feature that people were complaining about for, like, days, I think. There were people who were, like, saying, oh, if I have to regrind to get the characters I'm playing, I'm not playing. And you wouldn't think after that kind of backlash, they would go and someone on the development team would go, no, 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 guys, guys, if you own the first one or if you own the, the watch, the watch point pack, you get all the characters. This is just for first time users only. Like I, yeah, this is, that was, uh, that was, uh, interesting, I guess, to say the least. Just absolutely baffling decision not to communicate this in English. Just either last week or even hell yesterday while people yes. were, uh, were preloading the game. It, it was just like plenty of time to sort out the confusion because a lot of people were just like, okay, well, whatever character um, I unlock, I, um, I guess I'm going to have to grind my ass off and hopefully I can get to the characters that I really want to unlock. Right. And, and this could have been easily done through like uh, an edit on a blog post or just someone tweeting out, yo, yo, if you own this, if you own Overwatch 1, you're fine. You don't have to grind. You're not, you're not a first time user. That's all they had to yeah. do. And they didn't, which, again, really bad communication on their part, which unfortunately is becoming par for the course for anything Activision Blizzard at this point. Thank you for listening to this podcast segment. The Capital Games Podcast is done every week, and we post it on all your favorite podcast apps, as well as segments on YouTube. If you want to listen to another segment, you can listen to a new one right there on the screen. We also do a movie podcast called the Capital Games Movie Club. If you'd like, you can go ahead and click on that and see all the movies that we have reviewed from that point. Thank you for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon.